Would I need to dive to actually experience a fatal amount of radiation? How long could I stay safely at the surface? And so on. And there's some interesting working here. Um, basically, um, the kinds of radiation we're talking about, um, the amount of radiation halves per seven centimeters of water. So actually, you're pretty safe. And you might actually get less radiation exposure um, sort of just below the surface of the pool than you would outside. Um, and it gets bad if you get really close. So there's that. However, I think the most, in, <laughs> most amusing observation is the one at the end. Just to be sure, I got in touch with a friend of mine who works at a research reactor and asked him what he thought would happen to you if you tried to swim in their radiation containment pool. In our reactor, you'd die pretty quickly before reaching the water from gunshot wounds. <laughs> so think laterally. Um, However, curiously enough, that's not the reason I'm, I'm here to talk. Uh, <coughs> I'd like to talk um, about this uh, question of craftsmanship. Um, what is our motivation for it? What do we mean by it? What perhaps don't we mean by it? Um, what is it antagonistic to? And what is it um, sympathetic with? Um, <coughs> just out of interest, just so I know the degree to which I can reuse things, who was at my keynote yesterday? Okay, I can recycle a few jokes and a couple of themes. There'll be about two slides that are the same. There's an overlap. Um, but I'll start off with a very similar theme. Uh, a few years ago, I co-authored co -authored this book, um, Pattern Oriented Software Architecture, Volume 5. This book was on patterns and pattern languages, as the title actually suggests. Um, it is very much a theory book. I'd love to say, this is the book you should buy if you're interested in patterns. No, this is the book you read after you've read other books you're interested in, in patterns, and you say, you know, I really want to get inside this idea. I want to know the theory. Um, Frank and I, uh, we, we kicked this off. Our motivation for writing this was uh, we keep getting asked the same questions, and um, we thought there's no one place that has the answers, and now there is. Um, so it was a response to that. Uh, but there's something relevant about the patterns that I'm going to come back to. Um, relevant about patterns and the ethos of uh, the patterns community. I guess this is kind of relevant because uh, uh, Guru Plop is um, kicking off tomorrow. Uh, there were two forwards. One was by Dick Gabriel. The other was by Wayne Cool. Wayne Cool made this observation right at the beginning. Art, craft, engineering, science. These are the swirling muses of design patterns. Art and science are stories. Craft and engineering are actions. They're sort of creates this spectrum where he positions each one of these kinds of uh, each one of these concepts and it is a fairly grand claim that in software development we produce art so one of the themes I'm going to borrow 